Hey everyone, so I have restarted this book that I purchased back in 2015 and I read a little bit every day and this has a lot to do with the recovery process for people who have been um, struggling or recovering from codependent relationships and this is something that's so important when it comes to just life because it's easy to get into the trap of becoming too codependent on other people or allowing people to become too codependent on your on yourself and really in recovery which i am in recovery of so many things because i have that addictive personality um this just applies to every aspect of life so when i find something that i can share with you i try to because i know that i'm not the only one out there struggling with addictive behaviors with trying to create and maintain healthy relationships so something that i ran across when i was reading today was about imperfection and we live in a society that has such a big emphasis on trying to have this facade of of maintaining a perfect life and we see that on instagram and on facebook and on all these you know youtube channels of people that are trying to emulate a perfect life and we rarely see the behind the scenes um what, what goes on and we oftentimes um, compare our shitty parts of life to the highlight reels of somebody else. So I wanted to read to you something that really called to me to share with you today. It says about, it's about accepting imperfection. Why do I do this to myself? Asked a woman who wanted to lose weight. I went by my support or went to my support group feeling so guilty and ashamed because I ate half a cookie that wasn't on the diet. I found out that everyone cheats a little and some people cheat a lot. I felt so ashamed before I came to the group as though I were the only one not doing my diet perfectly. Now I know that I'm dieting as well as most and better than some. Why do we do this to ourselves? I'm not talking strictly about dieting. I'm talking about life. Why do we punish ourselves by thinking that we're inferior while believing that others are perfect, whether in relationships, recovery, or a specific task, whether we're judging ourselves or others, it's two sides of the same coin, perfection. Neither ex expectation is valid. It is far more accurate and beneficial to tell ourselves that who we are is okay and what we do is good enough. That doesn't mean we won't make mistakes that need correcting. It doesn't mean that we won't get off track from time to time. It doesn't mean we can't improve. It means without all our mistakes and wandering, we're basically on course. Encouraging and improving of ourselves is how we keep ourselves on track. So I started my own fitness journey back in 2012. So I've literally been on this journey of improving myself. It started with just physical uh, fitness for six years. And what I didn't realize is that the support that I've gained by tapping into a community that's all really internet based, I have been able to surround myself with people who have similar goals and who are facing the same struggles as I am. And it's kept me on this track. And so many times people, whether it's fitness or weight loss or health or mental health or, uh, you know, finance or anything, they, they pull themselves away from other people and they're so ashamed of what path they're on that they fail to reach out to other people or open up. And I found that when I open up and I share with other people what I'm going through, I have a lot of aha moments and more than anything, I realize that I'm not battling these things alone and that by opening up and sharing with others, I can help others, which makes the, the struggles that I may be going through worth it as well as it brings other perspective into my life um, that can help me find a solution maybe faster or uh, something that will make it a little bit easier to get to where I want to be. And so this is the thing that I want to encourage everybody is that no matter what you're going through, you are not alone. But as long as you keep your struggles to yourself, you will be alone. And so being alone, being you know isolated is literally a choice. And we as humans were not designed to be running solo and so i encourage you that whatever you're going through find somebody find a support network find somebody who's been where you are because no matter what you're going through there's always somebody who's had it the same if not worse and gotten through it and so there's no way to find a solution if you're struggling with the same thing over and over and over again on your own without looking for help from somebody else and being able to ask people for help is really a true sign of strength. And this is something that I've just learned to embrace myself and I've went from being an, a perfectionist to an imperfectionist that I don't just 
you know, settle for mediocrity or average or who I am, but I also accept who I am now and I love myself where I'm at and continue to keep moving forward of where I want to go. And that really relies on the fact that I have a support network that I lean on. People that are successful, that have achieved what I want to achieve. People who are going through what I'm going through and that clap when I am succeeding and that I can clap for when I see them succeeding and I can lean on when I'm struggling. And more than anything, things like this that are contributing to my personal growth are what has kept me in direction in the same direction and I have veered off course and it's just like sailing a ship that the wind takes you and you start to veer off course but once you know where you're going you can get back in those coordinates to go there and so the one thing that I have always encouraged people over the last five and a half six years is tap into things that make you better whether it's reading or listening to books or watching you know things like TED Talks on YouTube or following somebody that's motivational that can help you and really asking for help and searching for those that can help lead you to where you want to be. That is the key. If not, you're going to be stuck and nobody wants to be stuck, but it's up to you to get unstuck. And so my journey is really about getting unstuck and unfucked and helping other people realize that they don't have to be stuck either. So I hope that you kind of enjoy some of the things that I share. And if there's other parts of your life that you're struggling with, you know, whether it's fitness or nutrition or mental illness or health, reach out to me. I'd love to, you know, brainstorm with you and maybe help you through what you're going through. And maybe I might not have the answers or the advice, but I can definitely listen to you.